We have got a Trident twirler out there, and the Trident is on fire. Why wouldn't it be? What a way to start as the Mariners embark on their 48th season. Look to get going on a good note. The Mariners did it again. The pregame ceremony for the opener of 2024 lived up to the hype. You got the kids, you've got run around the bases, you got the players, you got Felix, Ichiro, and you got the boomstick. Nelson Cruz signing a one-day contract, retiring as a Mariner and now we've got baseball to get to in Tridents up. Well, the Mariners taking the field on this opening day. The 25th full season for the Mariners inside one of the game's great ballparks here at T-Mobile Park at the corner of Edgar and Dave. It is of course Luis Castillo up on the mound for the Mariners. His fourth career opening day assignment and his second in a row in a Mariners uniform. La Piedra up on the mound tonight. Jaron Duran left handed swinging left fielder. Canzone the opening day not in left field a routine fly ball for out number one count is two and two on Devers blows it right past him over the plate at 97 miles an hour Castillo's first strikeout of many in 2024 Luis ready the windup and again the two two to story swing and a miss for strike three that takes care of story of the Red Sox a one two three top of the first inning for the Rock and a couple of strikeouts for Luis Castillo Brian Bay 12 and 11 last year 424 ERA the Red Sox youngest opening day starter since 1995 and played a second Valdez up and over and a quick out Julio presented with his silver slugger award before first pitch he last year became the first player in baseball history to win the silver slugger in each of his first two seasons well, inside out down the line and a fair ball for Julio extra bases 44 steaming into second base and he stands up with a double that's how you start the season well an early look at one of the new faces in this lineup for Scott service Jorge Polanco in a right field it drops in for a base hit and the Mariners have him on the corners first hit for Jorge Polanco in a Mariners uniform comes right away you know, a solid base hit out into right field Julio not sure if the right fielder was going to make a play on it so he didn't take off right away first and third one down in play to short Trevor Story flips for one on to first two and the Red Sox get out of it. Six four three the double play to retire the side started by Trevor Story. It's a one out walk first base runner early on for the Red Sox. One out one on Masataka Yoshida climbs in runner goes and a pitch well off the plate and a stolen base for O'Neill on ball three huge hop hop Canzone comes in medium depth to make the catch say down Rafaela. 23 years old the Red Sox number four prospect according to pipeline debuted last summer as a 22 year old strike three called on the top shelf that's going to retire the side he strikes out Raffaella his third strikeout of the ball game three strikeouts for Luis in his first two innings of the season welcome to the booth truly a Mariners legend man it is so good to see the boomstick Nelson Cruz Nelly great to be with you man <laughs> I'm just grateful to be back, man. This is a great night. Um, he beat it out. Did you have a Did you have a big dumper infield single as his first knock of the season on your bingo card? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just just excited to be here. You know, um, really grateful of the Mariners fans. You know, the whole organization to um, retire for one year for one one day. Yep. Uh, sign for one day in retirement, so um, I'm going to be a Mario for life, I guess. Yeah, so people at home don't know this. You threw out the ceremony of first pitch, and then... I like, bounced the one. <laughs> Was that on purpose? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I told Felix, I got to hit you in the chest as hard as I can. <laughs> and then after you and Felix took your photo near home plate, you walked over to a podium, and they opened up a binder with one piece of paper. You signed a one-day contract. Yeah, that was magical. Um, um, I mean, what can I say? I've been blessed to to play this game for so many years, you know, and to end up um, in these situations with uh, from a Mariners fan, they cannot cannot be better. Dominic Canzone, their left fielder, they have pitch down. He goes. He struck him out. That nasty changeup that Bayo can break out any time, and he gets his first strikeout of the season. Yeah, Canzone has a big chase rate, and right here you, you see it on a good changeup. This isn't a chase. That's a good pitch. Sends up Ty France, their first baseman. So a full count on France. Runner goes. And down he goes. He struck him out. Back to back K's there. 
And they hold a runner at first, still nothing, nothing. Third inning, and Manuel Valdez in Seattle, his first opening day roster with the Sox. The little man, as they call him, Chiquito. Seeing a base hit between France and Polanco right through them on the right side. And Valdez gets the Red Sox off to a nice start in the third inning. Back to the top of the order here is Duran. Trying to minimize the traffic aboard for Devers, who stands on deck. Swung on and miss. He pulled the string on him. Strikeout number four and strikeout number 300 as a Mariner. Castillo has reached 300 strikeouts in 45 games with the Mariners. That's the fastest to that number in franchise history. Congratulations to Luis. Two down here in the third. Rafael for one. It's not great to start the season against a guy like this, but they do catch a little break. They might chase him earlier than normal, even if he's overpowering the 0-1. Swinging a high fly into left center field. Rodriguez back at the track. At the wall, gone! Devers goes yard the opposite way on a cool Seattle night. A two-run shot here in Seattle where he hit his first major league home run. And the Sox are on top two to nothing. Tristan Casas to lead it off for the Red Sox. Hammered up the middle and there's that first knock. And Casas is on with a leadoff single in the fourth inning. O'Neill with a walk and a stolen base in the second. A little in between hop. Crawford a bobble and now gets rid of it. They do get Casas. One out one on. They swap runners at first base. Here is Yoshida. Line drive in the right field down for a hit. It keeps on skipping all the way to the wall. O'Neill is into third and a double by Masa Yoshida. And the Sox in business here, second and third with one down. Well, he's a strikeout pitcher, and now he needs a strikeout right here with two on a scoring position and only one away. Drawn in infield, outfield straight away. Swing and a chopper toward third. It is backhanded there. They're going to try to come home. It goes over the head of the catcher. O'Neill has scored over to third is Yoshida. That might have hit Tyler O'Neill on the helmet. And the Red Sox plate another run, three to nothing. Rafaela does put it in play, and the Sox add a run. It looks great to see you, man. Hey, thank you for having me. It looks good to see you. I do it. Now, if you pick up on any animosity from Mike, it's only because he has the exact same jacket. Okay? <laughs> so it's just he might be a little bitter about that, but that's okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Push through it. Push yeah, I'm, through good. It. I'm good with it. Hey, you were out there catching the ceremonial first pitch. Well, I didn't catch it. I missed it. I don't know if you saw that. I did see it. Okay. I mean, I, I was debating. <laughs> that was my fault. My fault. Here's Mitch Hanniger. Two out runner. First Cal Raleigh. There we go. Hanniger. There we go. Out to right. I'm happy for Mitch, man. Golly, great guy. It's a one-run game. On a one, leading things off for the Red Sox. Long swings and misses. He is gone. Good slider there. And for Luis Castillo, he had another strikeout, his fifth here this evening. And Castillo's 0-2. Swing and a line drive sinking into right center field. That's down for a hit. And so Jaron has his first hit of the year. Expect him to look at the possibility of running, although maybe not, because here comes Rafi Devers. The 1 1 is ripped into right field. That's a base hit. He is into second base with a foot first slide. That is foot speed for Devers. And again, the running Red Sox have him at second and third. Checked his swing, and that's going to be ball four. And the bases are loaded for Casas. Calmly in the box, Tristan waits. The 0-2 swing and a ground ball up the middle. And a diving stop at second. Flip to second, and they get the out there. It does bring Duran home. That was a very close play and a brilliant defensive play by Polanco. Sox do get a run, and it's 4-2. to two. Julio Rodriguez, who has doubled and grounded to short, he's just terrifying. He has lined into right field. O'Neill starts in. Now back. He's got it in front of the track. He's there to make the play. Bayo clapping and nodding his head coming off the mound. We'll see if that's it for Nino. If it is, he's in line for a win. 4-2 Red Sox after five. Sadon Rafaela. That's ripped on the left field line. This is going to be Sadon's first extra base hit of the year. He rips around first. Smooth and easy into second. He takes the big turn at second. He's going to try for third. Head first slide. Safe at third. A one out triple for Sadon Rafaela. Rafaela at third. Two down in the sixth. Wong drives one into right field, dunking down, and that's in there for a base hit. Five to two, Boston. Pinch hit for Canzone with Dylan Moore. He has had some moments for the Mariners coming off the bench. Here's the one two. Pitch. Swing on. High drive. Center field. Slicing away. Giddy up, baby. Go! Dylan Moore, everybody, with a pinch hit. Two-run homer. It's 
Nets now 5-2 in the seventh. Boston, way to start your 2024 season, big fella. A new face for the Red Sox, acquired from the Cardinals in December. Yeah, O'Neill is a part of some pretty incredible history. He has homered on opening day in four straight openers. Tied the longest such streak in Major League history. And a couple of Hall of Famers in there. Gary Carter, Yogi Berra, Todd Hundley as well. Going to set a record all for himself here tonight. It's back toward the track. It is at the wall. Gone! Tyler O'Neill, five opening days in a row, has gone yard, and it's six for Red Sox. Welcome to the history books, Tyler O'Neill. How about that? Here's Rich Garber trying to get something going with two down. Out to left field, into the corner. Duran can't make the catch. Garver's first hit as a Mariner is an eighth inning, two out double. Now the Mariners will bring the tie and run to the plate. Ground ball over to second. Reyes has it for the routine play, and Garver's double goes no further. Full count now to Story. Rounded to third. Up and over and wow. close. That was a bang bang play. He made that really close. And they will challenge. Safe. This is a weird play too because Jaron Duran is literally six feet from Urias before he threw the ball. All he had to do was run him back to second. Now a talented young hitter in Tristan Casas coming up. Swing and a miss. And both in his Mariners debut. Walks a tightrope and gets out of a jam. Well, the man with the seventh most saves in Major League Baseball history, Kenley Jansen, takes the mound. And here comes Luke Rayleigh out of the dugout to pinch hit and make his Mariners debut. Swing and a miss, and the Red Sox win it on opening night. That is a step in the right direction. They knock off the Seattle Mariners.